back. This is video two of, what are we calling this? The Top Fuel Rebel. I think you had another name for it, right Josh? My son wants to call it Boost. Boost? Boost. Old Boost? Boost. The top Fuel Rebel. All right, because we have a Top Fuel package on our website and we're pretty much doing that plus a few other little things to this. So this is an update on what we've done so far and with, last week we gave you a kind of a uh, an overview of everything we we're gonna do to it. So, so far we've done a full Agile rip kit and uh, that includes auxiliary Fox shocks up front. We did the, the new Fox 2.5 inch body progressive rate rear shocks. These are really burly shocks and they ride awesome. Josh has been uh, driving this all week. He loves the shocks. We did the Agile double shear upper and lower shock mount brackets. So those are super cool. They basically eliminate the, the bolt braking that happens a lot of times with these vans stock because it's a single shear point for your upper shock bolt. So it puts it in double shear, provides a lot of extra support for that upper shock bolt so you don't break it off on the trail or on the road. And then it also provides protection on your lower shock mount and beefs up that attachment point to the rear axle. So those have been great. Uh, we did, uh, what else did we do on the back end here? Obviously wheels and tires, 47 pound rear springs, a progressive rate spring pack, our standard Rebel package, if you will, when it comes to suspension. And then these are Black Rhino Arsenal wheels that we powder coated in a, in a matte textured finish to match the van. Um, those are super cool. Yep, little agile wheel space are poking through there. And the Terra Grappler tires by Nitto. Um, what do you think of the tires so far? I like them a lot. They're quiet. Quiet compared to like the PFGs that everybody runs. <laughs> yes, super quiet um, and handle great. So. Yeah, so these these tires, we've, we've run the Ridge Grapplers before. The Terra Grappler is a little bit more highway oriented, but still really aggressive for like gravel roads, fire roads, a bit of off-road and you don't have the freaking noise of a big mud terrain tire like is on my stick van. Um, it's a much quieter ride. So we did that on the van so far. We also did the onboard air uh, with stainless steel line kit. That's from Agile as well. And ARB uh, makes the compressor. It's a dual compressor that's mounted under the hood. Um, that was round one. That was last week. So today Josh is back and we're going to start with uh, the front bumper. The guys over at CA Tunes, we do a lot of work with those guys. Max is awesome, and they have a super strong bumper. In fact, you can pick your van up with their front bumper. As you may have seen on their channel recently, they, they picked their shop van up from the front bumper. So uh, because we like to do dangerous, stupid, irresponsible, and foolish shit around here, we're gonna put one of their bumpers on. So if Josh wants to pick his van up, he can, or if he wants to roll his van like I like to do, you can just pull it right out of the ditch with that bumper. But no, in all seriousness, they make a rad bumper. We're gonna put that on. And then we, uh, you may have seen a video a while back with Talon Psy. We did his Storyteller Psy mode and we did a ton of diode stuff. We're basically doing the same setup on Josh's van. So we'll do diode SS5 Pros on the front bumper. And then we're gonna do a, a link kit with seven SS5s uh, in a linkable light bar on top. Silence your phone for the video, first time. So we'll do the seven pod link bar on top um, where that fairing is. We're gonna, we're gonna move things around up top and make it look really clean and custom. Pretty stoked on that. And then I think we're gonna do the, uh, the work lights around, the perimeter lighting. We'll probably do the rock lights underneath for, for all the uh, you know, mall crawling events that you like to do. And then some uh, smaller uh, SS3s, right, for the hood. I think so, yeah. We'll use some CA tune uh, hood brackets as well, ditch light brackets there. So that'll be the front end. So today really we're just, we're focusing on the bumper and we'll put a worn uh, VR Evo 12S winch in there, 12,000 pound winch with a synthetic line and probably a factor 55 hook. They yep. just look really nice. And some adrenaline recovery shackles. Uh, what color shackles are we gonna go with on this one? Possibly orange. <laughs> okay, orange. Possibly orange. orange. <laughs> so uh, in addition to the bumper, we're gonna do some skid plates. So we'll do the Agile engine skid plate. And what color are you gonna powder coat that? I can't be like John's, so we gotta change that one up a little bit. Can't be like John's, so can't not be orange? Like John's. Not orange, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up. Thank God yeah. it won't be orange. Yeah. So we'll do the skid plate. Um, on the differential, we're gonna do the Agile diff cover. Is that one gonna be orange? 
With the locker, yeah. Okay, so we're maybe not gonna do that today, but we will replace that diff cover with the, uh, it's a big cast iron diff cover from Agile, it's super burly, and you get the protection of a skid plate, except you don't lose that ground clearance that you give up with a skid plate. Um, and it's just as thick as your actual differential housing. They're super, super burly. So we, we have been doing a ton of those lately. It's a great option for protection on your rear differential. Uh, up front, we'll also do the Agile Baja fog light upgrade. So Agile Off-Road makes a bracket that allows you to put a Baja SAE Squadron light in your factory fog position. It's plug and play. So we plug it right into the Mercedes factory harness and then you retain all your functionality of your fog lights. Um, turn the wheel, the left light comes on, the right comes on when you turn right, or you can turn them both on. So it retains all that functionality, no weird lights on the dash, no flickering lights, it's super clean. And then you get that SAE squadron, which allows you to, to use it legally during the day um, and not blind people or, or you know be dangerous on the road. Not today, but soon we are gonna change out the running boards. Those are going to get swapped over. Um, the other thing we did already was the Illuminous side ladder. We showed that in the video when we kind of rolled this out of the shop last week. Um, so that that's going or that's on rather. We're also going to put a surf pole on here so you can carry um, your stand up paddle boards and, and things of that nature. And then we still have a little bit of TVD on the on the rear end, right? I mean, we're doing Expo, Expo. carriers Expo, yeah. um, out of Germany from our partners at RRE Global. So Expo carriers are going on. But I think what we're working on is what we're going to put on the back. Is it going to be cargo box, monster box, right. tire carrier, just how we're going to kind of lay that out. I think you said you're going to go with the tire carrier over here, the Expo tire carrier, yeah. and then maybe one or two cargo boxes over here. Yep, for bike storage above. Okay. We're going to get rid of that stupid thing. That'll get tucked in the trash today. Agile makes a kit for that that we install on almost every single Revel um, that removes that, that ladder mount and then seals the holes off and makes it look really clean as well as this little mount here. So that'll go away. And then did you decide, Josh, what you're going to do for a step on the back or rear bumper or anything? So I uh, worked with Motorax yesterday, and it looks like we're going to do one of their carriers off the back for hauling the okay. moto. So um, Mike and they've Reed, got a nice little uh, step extension that comes along with that. Yeah. So, so Mike Reed, Motorax, um, Rebel Rally, Rocky Mountain Adventure Rally. You might, I mean, most everybody in the Rebel community knows Mike. Super great dude. He builds um, the burliest moto carriers on the market. I mean, super, super burly. So that's going to go on here so you can carry your uh, 500. Your 500. God, the freaking orange bike again. Orange, yeah. All right. Yeah. But you want to be able to carry a bike on your Revel. There's really not room inside of it. So right. this way uh, you can carry it securely, safely, and you don't really give up any ground clearance at all. The, the way he's engineered that rack, it, it lifts the bikes way up in the air. So your departure angle is um, basically the same as having just your van stock like this. So yeah. you don't give up any ground clearance like some of the carriers out there that, that cause you to, to have a really poor departure angle. So G outs and stuff, you're hitting that rack. Not, not with this rack and it's super, super strong. I mean, I've, I've not seen another rack on the market that could compare to that. Yep. So that's a really cool product that's gonna go on. I mean, the back end of this van is gonna be super dialed in. Yeah. I can't wait to, to get it all on there and, and show everyone. Not today, of course, but it's coming next week. We're swapping out that huge Coleman. We already talked about this, I think, in the other video, but uh, Nomadic hooked us up and sent us a, a DC powered air conditioner. So we're gonna get that swapped over. And I don't know what else we're gonna do on the roof. Uh, working Starlink. on that Starlink mount, yeah. Starlink, yeah. John yeah. over at Agile uh, is hooking us up with a Revel specific star mount. For Josh's Starlink, so he can um, make sure he answers all of your emails in a timely manner when he's out camping. He's concerned about the uh, room I'm going to have with the two kids and the family in here, so he's trying to yeah help me yeah, get as much crap, get everything on the outside yeah. of it. Uh, and then when we're doing the air conditioner, we'll have the interior part. We're going to do the SMB filters, oversized water tank. Those guys have been freaking awesome. They hooked us up with a water tank for this thing and a fuel tank, so we'll have uh, the oversized fuel tank. That should be here early next week. We'll get that knocked out next week, uh, along with the water tank and the air conditioner. So lots happening. Um, but yeah, we just want to kind of give you guys an update of you know where it is now. Let's, let's just walk around, show the show the people what they want to see. The cool <laughs> van. Uh, we just want to give you a look at this thing, the progress, and um, oh, and you know, fill you in on what we're doing, what we're doing today. We'll do another video uh, after we get the bumper on show you that of course we won't have lights on it today just the bumper and the winch 
And then, what else? oh yeah, we got to get this thing aligned today um, from the suspension. So we're, go yeah. we're taking it down to our partners here in town, Coleman's uh, Auto Alignment. They do all of our vans. They have a huge rack. So any of your big Class B um, vans, create big Winnebago views, whatever, they can fit them on their rack and align them. So they're going to get this thing aligned and we'll get the bumper and winch on and maybe a few other bits. The Canyon Vans order is showing up today too. Oh yeah, um, Canyon Adventure Vans, that order is showing up today. So what did you do? You did the, the nice plush mattress for the top. You did some bed risers. Yep. A few other accessories for the interior. Yeah, just a cutting board or a sink cover and then just some other organization okay. stuff inside. Yeah, awesome. That's the mattress is going to be a huge upgrade from the the Rebel like dog mattress that comes with these vans stock. Oh, it's converting to a dog bed. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh yeah, another thing, um, Inhabit mats, dude. Um, those guys absolutely hooked it up. And we've got some badass Inhabit mats. Check it out. This is in Fawn. So this color um, goes with all of the Pebble Gray Rebels and they look freaking awesome. So those guys um, absolutely hooked it up. And if you haven't walked on this stuff yet, uh, you need to. Um, next time you're in the shop, come check out Josh's van or my van. Take your shoes off, walk on this. It's so nice to walk on. It's really comfortable. And these things are so easy to clean. You spill wine on it, you spill um, oil, you spill coffee, whatever. Tabasco sauce. Tab <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah. Anyway, why you gotta bring up old shit, dude? I spilled a whole bottle of Tabasco on mine and it, it, it was terrible. But you pop the mat out, spray it with a citrus degreaser or Dawn dish soap or whatever you wanna use and literally just pressure wash it or hose it off outside, let it dry. They're super easy to clean. You can't stain them, you can't hurt them. These things are awesome mat so we sell a ton of these and i have them in my van josh has them because we believe in them they're awesome so um huge shout out to inhabit thank you for for helping us out and, and putting these mats in here what else are we gonna do i think i think you need some shillman seats dude it's definitely in the upgrade list yeah shillman seats yep um we're gonna we're gonna do These stereo. Are, yeah, stereo's in the works. Stereo's gotta happen. Yeah. And window. Oh yeah, we're gonna switch the exhaust out. Yep. So this, like every single rebel, comes with their exhaust on the side here, which doesn't even look cool. I'm not sure why they do that, to be honest. So we remove that and we do a factory style Mercedes Benz tailpipe that puts the exhaust out the back. Um, we've done some custom exhaust, like on my show van, we, we've got the exhaust where it comes out behind the rear tire with a big tip. It looks pretty cool. I do that because of the rear bumper. We don't want exhaust going into the rear backwards bumper and creating a heat sink. Um, but in this case, we're going to just put it straight out the back. It gives you a ton more ground clearance because this, I mean, this right now is your low point on the van and almost every single Revel that we see in here that's been even slightly off road this thing smashed and bent and all that so this is going to go away and we'll put it right out the back actually we may knock that out today um, so if you guys have anything that you think we should absolutely do to this van any dumb ideas ridiculous stuff please put it in the comment on the video here uh, we do read those and if it's ridiculous enough we'll probably do it uh, also, if you have ideas for the wrap, Josh has pitched some ideas to me. They're all boring, matte black crap. Tell him we need to go crazy like we did on the, the Giga Wagon, all right? Please. Like, if we get enough response, right? It, I mean, how many people have to say, hey, go crazy on the wrap before you're like, all right, we'll do it? <laughs> 20 people? 30 people? A couple hundred. Please. A <laughs> couple hundred? <laughs> all right, are we, we going to get 200 views on this video? I hope so. All right, please. Comment below uh, what you think the, the rap should be on this van. Uh, I vote ridiculous, Josh votes subtle. So let us know. All right, thanks for watching. You cover us in shame and I take the blame. Living by the moves team, which high school blue.